is Rao Borut Petrilin here, Top Sheet Photography. Behind me, there are like two weeks of intensive workshops. And one of the participants wanted to know how different collodions are acting. And I prepared five, plus a top secret, sixth collodion mixtures. And that is today's theme of the vlog. Welcome to Top Sheet Photography Vlog. Okay, what we have here is like a step test from 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds and 40 seconds. And I think the right exposure is 20 seconds. The problem with this amber type is just like the problem with all amber types or all tin types is the dynamic range. The dynamic range is uh, pathetic. It's like it has basically very, very limited dynamic range. So what we have here is uh, totally blown out um, whites and um, the blacks are just black. So I have to change the, color, uh, the position of the light to get some depth here inside. Here we go. We have six collodions and six test plates. Let's have a closer look. Okay, the first plate we're gonna review is um, Osterman Standard. It's a really beautiful collodion. I, it's my favorite actually. I work with it all the time. It's, it, it, it performs great. It's, it's stable, it's good for negative, it's good for positive, it's fast enough and it's stable enough. This is uh, Ostermann's negative collodion. This is uh, Ostermann's negative and this is Ostermann's positive. The negative is quite, um, so you see the, the left one is more sensitive to light than the negative one. It has uh, much less bromides than the positive one. So you see in the shadow, it's much well defined than for negative. Okay. The third one is Rechs. Um, 
This is a lithium-based uh, collodion, and as you see, this is very fresh. This was from last week, so you see in the shadows, it's, it's more sensitive to light uh, because of that. You see? Lithium-based collodion is very fast. I mean, it's about the same fast as uh, Osterman's <laughs> positive, if I'm honest. But you see this, the, the, this one, oh, oh, where's my finger? This one is two months old and this is one week old, you know. And this one will be after one month will be, you know, not, it will be much, much slower. Where, whereas uh, the, this one will stay. Okay, uh, this one is a bulletproof uh, top sheet collodion. This is collodion designed for negatives. So, as you see, consequently, is much less um, sensitive. Uh, but that said, it's also like half a year. Uh, I, I mixed it half a year ago. So it's less sensitive in, in highlights. Uh, but we will, we will review this one as a negative. And now, poor boy. Oh my goodness, that was such a disappointment. I mean, poor boy is one of the most um, popular collodion recipes without, without, uh, without what? <laughs> without cadmium, without ether and so on. But it's so slow. I don't remember it so slow. If I'm honest, I, I worked with it at the beginning, which was in 2011, 2012. And I never, I never went back from Osterman's um, standard or Osterman's negative. And the last one is Tutti Frutti. Tutti Frutti is uh, basically, and you know, of course, consequently, is the oldest one, so it's much, much less sensitive than uh, than uh, standard uh, Osterman's. One month old is um, also Rechs. Um, one week old is uh, much, much less sensitive, but it's still better than poor boy. Poor boy. This one on the left is uh, Osterman's negative collodion, and this one is a uh, top sheet uh, bulletproof uh, negative collodion. As you can see, I'm getting more uh, density with the bulletproof uh, and it's really beautifully, oh, I love so much love. I so much love the, the negative, look at all this. You know, I mentioned that the collodion has a pathetic, uh, <coughs> I so much love the negatives, you know, like I, I mentioned before that the uh, collodion has a pathetic amber types. I so much love the negatives. You know, in the beginning of this vlog, I've mentioned that um, amber types have a pathetic tonality, which is totally true. But negatives, they have amazing tonality. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Two collodion negatives. One is Mark's Ost Mark Osterman's um, negative recipe, uh, recipe for negative, and this one is top sheet collodion bulletproof density. So I'm working on a bulletproof uh, recipe, which is basically uh, a recipe that will give extra density. Um, and uh, the research is not over yet. But what we are talking about, we are talking about cadmium iodide and cadmium bromide recipe uh, that takes like two months to ripen or... And uh, that's why, you know, the research is going so slow. Uh, I, I, the first results are very promising. I didn't hit the ceiling yet. I know I'm also working in combination with a percentage of silver. So, I am more about that in 2020, 2020. But you have seen that um, Osterman's negative can, can be used as a positive too. Or even the top sheet bulletproof. It's, it's slow, it's uh, less sensitive, but you can still make very good, uh, very good ambrotype. I really don't know what you expected from this test. 
I know that I know some people who are grabbing and I holding these recipes like you know a secret or you know like a like a, like as we say a drunk man is holding the fence uh, while walking in the staircase. <laughs> Okay, let's break one really big myth. There is no contrasty or less contrasty or more contrasty collodion. That, that's really misunderstanding. Like there's really like a lack of understanding, I would say. Why? There is there are just like more sensitive collodions and less sensitive collodions. And yes, if you're gonna put it, if you're gonna if you're gonna have the same exposure and the same development time, it will have this one will be less exposed and will be more contrasty, consequently. So, but you know, but the contrast is basically your choice, your choice as a photographer. Okay, here we have two plates, Osterman standard for positives and Osterman's negative. Okay, as you see, uh, the left one is more sensitive, so, you know, has, um, has uh, more details in the shadows, and this one has less details, and the branches here are almost invisible, where, whereas here you can see them. But the worst case here was, not that boy, but the worst case here by far, was a uh, poor boy. Oh my goodness, it's a really poor boy. It's the same exposure, 40 seconds, F8, 20 seconds development. But look at the difference. It's a huge difference. So if we follow the logic of um, contrast, this is the most contrasty, right? Because it's only white and black. Okay, but, but look at that. Or let's take this one out. But look at that. You know, this was uh, <clears throat> 40 seconds exposure. This was, was uh, 120 seconds. This one was five minutes. So that's, what is that? Uh, 300 seconds. And this one was six minutes. Um, so 600 seconds. So, um, Look at that. Okay, this one is overexposed, but look, look at the development. So this one was 20 seconds development, 14 seconds development, and 6 seconds development. Look, look at the difference. You see? And now if we take back the Osterman standard positive, and we put it together with this one, Look at that. Which one, which one is more contrasty? This one. Oh my. This one is a bit overexposed. Um, Osterman's positive and poor boy. And suddenly, poor boy is not too contrasty anymore. Suddenly, it has a less contrast than uh, Osterman's standard. How is that possible? Do you understand? The same collodion, poor boy. Very contrasty uh, plate and very lo low contrasty plate. It's just a tool in your toolbox. Use it. Don't talk to me again about contrasty collodion, okay? I'm sorry, that's how it is. You know, like uh, either go to the workshop of Mark Osterman and, you know, learn this stuff properly or, you know, or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs>
Here we go! And I have a new collodion recipe. And but please, if you mix tutti frutti, you have to uh, put a certificate on it. Top sheet certificate, you know, so people will know that you're dealing, that they have an expert here, you know, because only tutti frutti is the one that, um, you know, it's a proper collodion, you know, you don't know what it is, but it works, so then, you know, you adjust your process. Okay, last but not least, um, this production, this testing, this time that I'm investing in these vlogs are are, is, are, are supported by my pet patrons uh, at patreon.com. They're supporting me monthly. So, and from all the patrons, beside on everything that I'm sending uh, rewards, I'm also uh, giving a lucky patron like a gift. So this time is uh, Christoph. Uh, you haven't wrote your surname, um, but you're my patron for three years already. I have your email. I send you an email. This is a book for you. It's my new book, uh, Light Mood. Uh, so yes, the guys who bought my book uh, this week, is, it will be start to be shipping. So thank you very much for support and uh